So for the past few months now, I've been working on this terrain plugin for Godot called TerraBrush. I'm having a lot of fun building it and people seem to like it, so that makes me happy. You can do a lot of stuff with it. For example, you can sculpt the terrain, you can paint the textures or even add foliage or scatter objects just like this. My goal has always been to create a terrain system that is easy to use and has a lot of features so it's easy to build maps. That's why I keep adding new stuff. For example here, you can turn your water into lava by using custom shaders if you already have something that works on your side. And yes, the water flow can be implemented as well. And there is also a way now to sculpt the terrain at a specific height. This way it's much easier to create, for example, a plateau on your map. You just have to pick a value from the terrain and there you go, you start to sculpt. There is also a way now to lock on the axis so you can paint straight lines like this. But you know what we are missing now? We are not in the asset lib of Godot. I figured it would be really cool to be part of this asset lib because it makes it really easier for you to install the plugin. You just have to click the install button and that's it. Since my goal is to make it easy to use, I think it just makes sense to do it. This seems to be pretty easy to do. You just fill out the form with all the information required. And then once you're done, you just submit the form to Godot. The next step is to wait. A few moments later. If everything gets approved, the only thing reminding is to test it, right? So you can go now into the asset lab and you will find TerraBrush. You can hit the download button and then you just click the install button, which will install the add-on itself. That is so cool. So you can see now that in our file system, you will see our TerraBrush plugin that has been installed. The only thing reminding is if you are in a new project, you need to create a C-sharp solution. When this is done, you will see the small hammer button on the top right. This will allow us to build the solution. This is required to enable the plugins since this is a C-sharp project. And then when this is done, you can go under project settings and under plugins and you should see TerraBrush that you can just enable. I think we're ready now to create our very first asset lib terrain. So just create a new scene. You need to select like the 3d scene because this is obviously a 3d terrain that's awesome when this is done we can now just open the scene if you try then to add a new child node to the scene you will now find terrabrush node inside of the create window and that's it you can hit this create terrain button oh wow congratulations you now have a terrain. All right, so this one was just a quick tutorial on how to use TerraBrush from the asset lib. Obviously, if you want to have more information about it, you can check out my other videos. That's all I had to show for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we're gonna see each other on the next one.